At Corny and Lynn Lawyers, we have a vision to provide advice and solutions that will deliver just, redemptive and restoring outcomes. Each of our lawyers believes in the call on their lives to contribute to the fabric of this world through strategic counsel, courageous advocacy and clear documentation. This leads to just, redemptive outcomes. Well, good afternoon. Um, I'm sure that you were expecting to hear Kenzie Corney's voice. Um, you will uh, just in a few moments. My name is Andrew Lind. Uh, I'm one of the directors of Corney and Lind Lawyers. And welcome to um, our short and sharp webinar this afternoon, Registered Charities, a heads up on financial reporting. Um, so I'll be handing the microphone to Kenzie just in a few minutes time. Uh, but before doing so, I just wanted to, to uh, make a few introductory remarks. Um, and I, I've said to Kenzie that I'll hang around for today's webinar because I was recently at a full day of meetings at the ACNC as part of their professional users group uh, when um, this subject of financial reporting was discussed at some length. So it may well be that there's some specific questions that come uh, from from you uh, that um, that I might be able to provide um, my two cents worth uh, to uh, that may be of assistance to you. So I'll um, I'll hang around in case uh, some of those uh, questions arise. Uh, look, uh, firstly, by way of introduction, um, if we go to the second slide, please, Cara. Um, Corning Lynn Lawyers, of course, is known to um, to most of you. Uh, we're a Brisbane-based firm with uh, uh, a dozen odd lawyers um, with a particular expertise and specialty uh, in the charitable uh, arena, uh, acting for schools um, and acting for churches uh, and other faith-based uh, charities, particularly and not faith based charities. Um, uh, in the pursuit of uh, their objects and purposes. Uh, the other areas that we uh, focus on are listed there on that slide. I won't uh, go through them. Uh, but just bear in mind that if there, there are legal needs that uh, arise for you or those that you serve, um, please um, consider our firm um, in um, the firms that might be available to you. We'll soon tell you if um, we think that um, you or the or those that you serve might be better served um, going elsewhere, uh, we'll certainly let you know. All right, just the next slide, thanks, Cara. What um, I want to make some some brief observations about is that we've got the, the ACNC, but how long will we have it for? Um, because, of course, you'll all uh, be well and truly aware that um, a, a bill to, the first of two bills to abolish the ACNC has been introduced uh, to the Parliament. Um, that bill has been referred to the Senate Economics Committee for an inquiry uh, about, um, about that bill and various submissions are being made uh, to that committee about um, whether we should see the abolition of the ACNC or not. I want to take you very briefly uh, to um, our website uh, to show you where you can find out some more information about uh, this inquiry. Um, if you Go to our resource centre, uh, charity and not-for-profit reform. Um, Charities and not-for-profit reform overview start here. Uh, then you scroll down. Um, we've got a section on the ACNC and a link which I've put in red there about the Senate Economics Committee. Uh, have your say on the future of the ACNC. Um, and the consultation period on this was very short. Uh, and the submissions close date is the 2nd of May. If you follow that link, uh, it will take you to the inquiry page uh, for that um, Senate Economics Committee. It will tell you how you can make a submission. And importantly, it will also show you the submissions that have already been uh, lodged and you can download those and have a read of them and that might assist you uh, in the submission that you might want to make. Um, certainly I was part of this mission made by the Queensland Law Society in my role as the Deputy Chair of the Queensland Law Society Not-for-Profit Law Committee. Um, so Corny and Lynn will be making a brief submission uh, in the next 24 or 48 hours which essentially uh, supports the submission made by the Queensland Law Society and makes a few other uh, observations. So you might want to consider doing something similar. Now is your time to have a say um, about the future of the ACNC if you would like to have a say about that. Um, my sense is that win, lose or draw, we're still going to have the ACNC for some months uh, <laughs> uh, to come. Uh, my sense is at least for the balance of this calendar year. 
um, and that will have some implications for some decisions about financial reporting that, uh, that, you're, that you may have to make uh, before the end of this financial year, which Kenzie will talk to you about in detail. Even if we do see the abolition of the ACNC, there has been commentary that I think we will see a retention of the public information portal. So um, uh, everything will not be lost, but um, our hope at least is that we uh, will not see an abolition of the ACNC.